Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how I free floated the barrel on my Savage B22 by replacing the stock barrel channel without sacrificing any front end stiffness. The same could be done for the Savage B17 as well. This is how the gun looks like when it came out of the factory. As you can see the barrel tray is very close to the barrel and therefore I cannot slip this bill in between the stock and the barrel. The barrel is therefore not free floated. Use a 5.32nd Allen wrench and remove the two action screws from the bottom of the stock. Remove the barreled action and put it to the side. Use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the three screws that holds the barrel channel in place. Remove the bipod. Use a 1/8 inch Allen wrench and remove the front swivel stud. Using the same Allen wrench, I'm using it to push the barrel tray out. At this point, you could reinstall the barreled action back onto the stock, and your barrel would be free floated. However, the front end won't be as stiff because you have removed the front barrel tray. On top of that, I think it looks really ugly as well. Um, it's difficult to see on camera, but you see all the little ridges uh, from the front end of the stock, and It'll just be a pain to clean if you ever were to get any dirt or anything inside. I think we can do a better job and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Here are all the ridges that I was talking about before. If you were to get anything stuck inside, it'll be an absolute pain. On top of that, it looks very ugly. Now to solve the stiffness problem, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this is the stock barrel tray with the super thick and sturdy aftermarket barrel tray. This has been 3D printed and all the print settings that I've used are right here. The barrel tray on the left is the aftermarket one and the one on the right is the stock one. The aftermarket barrel tray is a lot thicker, a lot more sturdy and it's designed to fit snugly onto the stock. But most importantly it provides more clearance for the barrel so the barrel won't be touching the stock. So let's install the aftermarket barrel tray right now. It's not rocket science, all I have to do is install the barrel tray and it is designed for a snug fit, making sure the first hole here is aligned and pushed down, meaning give it a little bit of force because it is designed for a perfectly snug fit. Once it's bottomed out, I use a Phillips head screwdriver and reinstall the three screws that hold the barrel tray in place. With the new barrel tray installed, we now solve the flexing problem. We don't have the ugliness problem, and we also don't have the issue of stuff getting stuck inside those ridges. But most importantly, we now have a free floated barrel. The last step is just to reinstall the barreled action and the action screws, and we're ready to go. There you go, guys. Super easy project to do. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check out the rest of the content on my channel. Thank you.